<laughs> well, you are hey, we are at the world. hater world. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, but would you yeah. say that? Hey, it's the only place I can be myself. <laughs> <laughs> would you say that's not the formula no more? Dude, I wrote the formula. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, they don't. It, I'm serious. There's a formula to it. It's called synergy marketing. Consistency and repetition breeds familiarity. Familiarity. I saw that on your, uh, on your gram. Relationship breeds teamwork or synergy, and synergy wins games. Yeah. But if you, if you don't set it up right and you don't make a connection to the organic market, it doesn't work. You know, uh, these big tech companies and all this stuff, they survey tech people. They're not surveying actual cats in the street. So what happens is, is 23% of Americans in inner cities, whether it's country music, whether it's rap music, have smartphones that are regularly connected to the internet. Yes. One, they can't afford the internet like that. Two, they're at work all fucking day. Do you know what I'm saying? So they're not sitting on TikTok going, oh, there's a new Eminem album coming out. Hey, let's get that, Barb. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it it yeah, just yeah. don't work like that. Explain so, it for the slow people, because you even lost me there with the synergy <laughs> shit. Well, what I'm saying is, is everything is based on your personal relationship and interaction with the artist. Okay, if you're not talking about it, you're not talking about it, you're not talking about it, I'm not talking about it. They don't see it online, yeah. and then you don't hear anything on the street or have any street marketing. Okay. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then you don't have the radio on top of it. But see, what digital does is they only survey the digital market. The internet. Okay? But if you surveyed both, you'd find out that 96%, 98% of Americans still listen to the radio. Oh, shit. But radio isn't breaking any new music yeah. because the narrative of radio is over, so they automate, so they don't break any new talent. There's no young jocks on the radio. Yeah. There's no, they took the mix show out. How the fuck are you going to break a record? Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? You have to hit all cylinders. So, and the thing, oh, go ahead. So you're saying the internet can break it, but the radio has to play it too? Well, yes. It's like, for instance, when I put Jay-Z and Mariah Carey together for Heartbreaker, it was because I wanted JC's Marcy Projects and the inner cities and everybody else because he was hot coming off yeah. of Hard Not Life and Can I Get a Basically the streets. A yeah, the streets. streets. right. And then you have her that will get into places like New Zealand and the Philippines. Yeah. So that will break that artist in that market, and that will tell the streets that a pop artist has a new record coming out. Oh. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's synergy marketing. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. The young cat, the pop diva, boom. That's how that works. Produced by DJ Clue, who's got the mixtapes yeah. out. That's yeah. a simple process, too. Put her on the mixtapes. Do you know what I'm saying? That way, all of the streets get that, know that that's coming, expect the Jay-Z, and boom. It's all promo. And it's on the radio, plus it's on Napster. Yeah. You know, or the internet. Yeah. And it's you know in what the I'm saying? Napster. Yeah. No, like I mean, Napster. at the time, that's what happened. This fool's old like a motherfucker said Napster. But that's what happened with the, MySpace. All of those. Don't even DJ know what Quick that is. was the first person on MySpace. 